of the fever. Now daily range of core body temperature is between 35.6 degrees centigrade to 37.8 degrees centigrade according to Hutchinson. There are many data which is different given in different books. Now closest to core body temperature is your rectal temperature but it is not uh, suitable for measuring temperature from rectum so we so the next closest is tympanic temperature that is ear temperature then oral temperature and then axillary temperature oral temperature and axillary temperature are suitable and easy to measure and oral temperature is 0.5 degree centigrade less than ear temperature and axillary is 1 degree centigrade less than ear temperature measuring ear temperature requires a particular instrument okay now how fever is produced so fever is produced when a stimulus a stimulus may be external or internal external stimulus may be any infectious agent or any drugs you are taking internal stimulus may be antibodies or damaged tissue okay so this stimulus when detected by body's immune system as foreign agent then it will lead to release of certain chemical mediators called cytokinin mainly tnf alpha tuber necrosis factor alpha interleukin 1 and interleukin 6 and this these cytokinins will act on hypothalamus to reset the set point to higher temperature this is the basic cause of the fever now what are the benefits of fever so increase in temperature increases phagocytic and bacteria cytal activity of your neutrophils second impairment of growth and virulence of the bacteria these are the two main benefits of the fever now coming to the negative effects of the fever so fever increases your o2 consumption fluid and calorie requirement also increases this all, all will increase your metabolic activity and can increase stress if a organ is failure okay if organs are failing then it can increase stress increase metabolic activity fever can also in, in such certain inflammatory cytokines also increases muscles breakdown and fever also can cause decrease mental acuity so these are the negative effects of the fever now coming to the types of fever so fever is basically divided into five to six types the first one is continuous okay the second one is intermittent the third one is relapsing the fourth one is a step rather and the fifth one is remittent so first continuous so i have made the graph this is the normal range of the temperature okay so continuous is defined as persistent rise in temperature with minimal diurnal variation and that variation must be less than one degree centigrade you are seeing here okay persistent rise in temperature and this can be observed in pneumonia and meningitis now coming to the intermittent so in intermittent type of fever the temperature rises then come to normal then again rises then come to normal okay so there is a rise in temperature above the normal and then again returning to the normal or sometime below the normal so this type of fever is known as intermittent fever and its causes are kalajar drug fever and malignancy then relapsing fever in this febrile episodes separated by normal temperature okay we are seeing the graph and this can be seen in malaria tuberculosis and certain lymphomas now coming to the step ladder so it is an example of sustained fever where temperature goes on rising you are seeing in the graph and this course is typhoid or typhus now coming to the remittent so in this temperature spikes fall daily with a diurnal variation of more than 2 degrees centigrade but doesn't come to normal anytime okay you are seeing the graph it does not touch the normal baseline it will always be above the baseline